Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video, and today I have my full and detailed review of the iPhone 5C. Now, I did sell my iPhone 5 and recently pick up this blue 16GB factory unlocked iPhone 5C to use as my new primary phone. Now, a lot of you may ask, why would I actually give up a device such as the iPhone 5, which is basically the iPhone 5C, uh, but in a better and sturdier package? And that simply is because I'm an Apple fan and I wanted to see what Apple has done with their new style and their new design language, uh, which is now present in the iPhone 5C. And of course, the hardware in the iPhone 5S was basically exactly the same as the iPhone 5, and I kind of wanted to see what direction Apple was taking with their new device. Now, again, this device does basically have all the same internals as the iPhone 5 that preceded it, which is actually no longer available, which is a bit of a strange move in my opinion, but I do understand why Apple did this. Now inside the iPhone 5C is the Apple A6 processor along with 1GB of RAM and it does rock the 4-inch retina display at 326 pixels per inch that everyone has come to know and love. My only issue with it is that it may be a little small for someone after using an Android phone in the past. Now taking a look at the build quality of the device, when I did pull it out of the box, I was pleasantly surprised. Now even though Apple has claimed that this is plastic, which is, you know, it's basically true, you can tell that this is a plastic device, it is constructed entirely out of polycarbonate, besides for the front digitizer, of course. At the back though, you can see that this is really, really nice, it actually feels very nice in the hand, and very different from what I expected it to feel. And of course, this does not have the premium feel that a device such as the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 5S would bring along along with it, but it doesn't feel cheap by any means whatsoever. The buttons are all very tactile, the power switch and the little silent switch on those side is really really nice, they all feel very sturdy, tactile, clicky, and it almost feels like having a ceramic device instead of a plastic device, and I think that has something to do with the steel reinforcement inside the actual device. Now, speaking about the iPhone 5C software, it does actually run iOS 7. Now, iOS 7, with all its colors and swoopy, slidey animations, I think has designed uh, or has been designed to work perfectly with the iPhone 5C, and I think that these two work very nice in comparison or in collaboration with one another. Now, as you guys can see, this device is ever so slightly thicker than the iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S, uh, and actually very slightly heavier, but I actually like this added heft because the iPhone 5 was almost unrealistically uh, light. It felt really weird when I actually first picked it up, almost like I was holding a weightless product, but I do like the heft that the iPhone 5C has, though a lot of you may not, because if you have been gotten, or rather if you have gotten used to the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 5S, uh, this may feel slightly heavier to you. Now let's take a look at this camera. The camera is actually a carryover 8 megapixel camera from the iPhone 5. It is essentially the same sensor but in, again, a different body, it's basically just like the internals of the phone. It's quick, it's snappy, it's great with low light, it's great with well-lit conditions, and it's very good with focusing uh, and image quality and details. And of course this is no ginormous camera, it isn't a very big sensor but it does take really nice, accurate pictures, which do look pretty good. And for someone like me who is pretty big into photography, but I don't like to carry my DSLR around me, uh, with me everywhere, uh, I really do like having this camera. Now, of course, this code has become uh, more and more famous with every iteration of the iPhone that does come out, but the best camera is the one that you have with you. And since the iPhone 5C is probably a device that you're gonna be taking with you everywhere, it's nice that it does have a pretty cool camera. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have the slow motion features which are actually uh, limited to the iPhone 5S, but in exchange, they actually did improve the quality of the front-facing camera, which is full HD, and it does look really nice in HD FaceTime calls. Now, one of the cool things about the software uh, which actually implements itself into iOS 7 is the fact that there is a burst mode. So if you press and hold down onto the shutter button, it is actually going to take uh, multiple photos as long as you kept uh, or as long as you keep the button held down. Now I can see where this could be useful in case you're trying to capture a fast-moving object, but it isn't as fast as the iPhone 5s, and so it may seem slightly redundant to actually have this on the device. But nonetheless, it is a nice feature to have to show your friends that your phone does have a burst mode, which a lot of phones actually don't, and you may have to download third party camera applications from your respective app store to be able to perform this function. Basically guys, this is a device that is 
a strange move on Apple's part, but I do understand why they created the iPhone 5C, and it's because of marketing. Now, the iPhone 5 is a really, really nice product, but everyone isn't really going to be interested in buying an older generation device. So what would Apple do with all the leftover internals? put them into a new body, package them, advertise it, and resell it, and that's essentially what the iPhone 5C is. It's an iPhone 5 in a different body. But would I recommend it? Actually, yes. Now, I did pick up the international unlocked version, which is pretty expensive, but if you guys are actually willing to spend the $100 to get this on contract, I still think that this is a very capable iPhone. And for someone who's trying to get into the iOS platform, I think that this is a great way to start. Anyway guys, that does about conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave this video a like rating, and for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much much more, please do remember to subscribe. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.